Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two. I thought about it later. We're rounding corners. I've already converted this to a curve. All the ones that aren't curvable aren't going to curve, so you can select it all, open up your Windows, Dockers, Corners, and do them all at the same time. It does not affect the straight ones. It's just going to affect the corners. And like in the previous video, you're going to have some nodes you don't really need, and you can go back and delete them. But this will save you a little bit of time, and you do not have to delete them. It'll be a little bit better of a curve, um, and you could go a little bit more. That's why you could kind of see what all the letters look like if we go to like 0.07. It's, it's telling you some of them are too short, which so it did not work. It didn't allow us to do that one. So let's back up to, to 6. And there we go. And matter of fact, it might even, nope, the nodes are still there. But like I said, it doesn't really matter. It's going to give you a little bit smoother. Whenever you see a node that's on a line like that, it means it's so close to the other one, it's actually stacked on top of each other. So you could, but it did all the inside and the outside at one time. So when you smart fill this, we're going to have to do it individually. Uh, now you have rounded corners, but it did not affect the, like the O or the straight lines, it just cornered the radiuses a little bit. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit.